TCAB is totally endoscopic coronary artery bypass grafting. It means performing a coronary artery bypass surgery uh, on a beating heart without opening the breastbone, without going on the heart lung machine, and without making an incision in the leg. In other words, the entire operation is performed through three quarter inch incisions on the patient's left side of the chest. Currently, we're the only program in the state of Texas that offers this procedure, and we are only one of a handful that offer TCAB in the entire United States. We have um, performed robotic-assisted coronary bypass surgery on patients from 15 different states and uh, three different countries. We began doing minimally invasive coronary bypass surgery in 1996. As of 2013, we have done close to 3,000 coronary bypass procedures without the use of the heart-lung machine. The technology that we use to perform TCAB is the Intuita Da Vinci robot. And that particular technology we've been using since 2004. We started doing TCAB around two years ago, and to date have done 100 successful TCAB procedures. When we started using the Intuitive Da Vinci robot, our first 300 cases uh, were completed by way of a small thoracotomy on the left side of the chest. Uh, for the past two years, we've eliminated the small thoracotomy, uh, and we now offer a completely endoscopic operation, very much like the general surgeons do with a uh, Band-Aid cholecystectomy or the orthopedic surgeons do with uh, arthroscopy in the knee. We can now apply that technology to coronary bypass grafting with the use of the intuitive Da Vinci robot. The best part about that for the patient is that human blood is not exposed to a foreign body surface. And we know from our experience that the great majority of complications that a patient will experience after coronary bypass surgery are due to the heart-lung machine itself. So if you can avoid the heart-lung machine, it stands to reason that you can avoid a lot of the common complications. The most immediate benefit is that there is much less trauma, if you will, much less assault on normal human anatomy and physiology. And what that means is a much quicker recovery and a more rapid return to a patient's regular activities. With a conventional operation, the last thing that we tell a patient before they leave the hospital is no driving for six weeks. Nothing heavier to lift than a telephone, a soup spoon, or an iPhone. With TCAB, patients can resume regular activities as soon as they feel like it. In other words, I've had patients return to regular employment seven to 10 days after surgery. The ideal candidate for this operation are patients with disease confined to the front of the heart, which is, as you may know, is the most important artery on the heart, the widowmaker, the people that have, or the disease that people have when they fall over on a golf course, out on a track, or they go to sleep at night and they don't wake up. It's that type of disease that this operation is ideal for. We have had patients who have been recommended by their cardiologists to have bypass surgery uh, that decided that a conventional operation with a big cut down the front of the chest was not for them. They looked on the internet and they found us. Uh, they called us uh, one afternoon. Uh, we answered them in the same day and within two to three days they were up in Tyler uh, having their bypass surgery. 